SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, if you're a T-Mobile customer, then you're going to be upgrading your device sometime soon. Uh, like, maybe you're going to upgrade to a new iPhone soon, or a Google Pixel, or you're going to get a Galaxy, and you upgrade through carriers like T-Mobile, you know? Uh, bill credits can be often confusing. Trading credits add another layer of confusion. Looks like T-Mobile is looking to address the confusion and kind of simplify the billing methodology when you make these purchases. So uh, I'm going to explain what is actually going to be different moving forward so that we understand how it works and you understand uh, that you're not getting ripped off. You're not getting played and it's it's actually, it might make things a little bit more simplified. A uh, link for the article from Ryan over at Android Authority detailing some of the bill credit policy changes that have happened at T-Mobile. And then we got additional stuff here uh, from, a, I think it's like a shared image on the changes on t-mobile systems provide links for all those things in the description ways to support us can be found there as well please do like and share this video subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from the smt first of all the the time of the modification and, and the policy change or whatever the process change is dated for august 29th so today uh this this takes effect the other thing to know is this is going to impact folks that order online so like through the t-life the website uh if you're going to be ordering this way uh doing your trade-ins digital doing your purchases digital uh this is obviously going to impact it directly all right so the way that this is going to work and i'm going to go ahead and pull this up here too and what you need to know all right the the changes are designed to improve the purchase experience it's not designed to make it more complicated it's actually designed to, to offer clarity so when you do the purchase and you do your upgrade and you do your trade-in, the way that T-Mobile did it in the past was they would give you the bill credit for your trade-in up front, right? And then you would have like this calculated payment of how much your, you know, your, your payment installments are going to be. Uh, so, and some people purchase accessories, right? They'll get a, a charging brick, they'll get a case, they'll get a screen protector. And, you know... The terms can be kind of convoluted, but the the you can add accessories now on uh, installments. Uh, it does not have to be a forty nine dollar minimum, so you could just do a case, for example, twenty bucks or something. I don't know, twenty five dollars, and uh, you know, so you don't you don't have to pay for it up front or whatever. So that's one of the changes, and I think additionally, the trade in on the device, the value that you receive, uh, is now going to be applied over the course of recurring device credits. Uh, prior to this, what T-Mobile was doing is they would give you the estimated value of the trade-in upfront as a one-time credit. Okay, so the reason why this probably is gonna be better is because since you're going to be paying off your phone on installments, giving the credit also on installments means that it will reflect a monthly price that is going to actually be accurate. And it's not going to be different from the first month to the second month, right? So it, it's not it's not that you'll be paying more or less. It's that you will know exactly what your new payment is going to be, know exactly how much the credit is going to be for the trade-in. So it's actually a bit of a simplification process. So it's good. It's removing the confusion. It's getting rid of the issue, right? So, um, so the Timor Report has it here on the screen. This is the thing that they've obtained. Uh, customers who enroll in a digital upgrade promotion... Do not return their trade-in device within the trade-in offer period. They'll see the reversal change. Those terms didn't change. The promotional credits via recurring device credits. Uh, so that's where the change occurs. Uh, the EIP on accessories, that appears to be modified as well. So now that you guys know, you can kind of proceed accordingly. If you're going to go through T-Life, if you're going to go through the web, that's what it's going to be. If you go into a store, you know, nothing is changing. It's specifically going to be this methodology of upgrade, which a lot of people have adopted, right? Everybody's ordering online. You don't need to deal with, you know, a call. You don't have to deal with, you know, going into the store. You could do everything through digital. Um, so just letting you guys know, understanding how to navigate this and how it's different possibly compared to the last time you purchased a device two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, whenever you did. Anyways, hopefully this helps give you guys some clarity. You understand what it means. It is not a ripoff scam. It is just a change, a modification designed to make things a little bit more streamlined and less fluctuation with an understanding your monthly bills.
All right, so hopefully that helps. Let me know what you guys think about this and are you glad for it? I think it's good. But your take, welcome in the comment section. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.